quantum mechanics. Traveling forward from that era to a little over a hundred years ago, scientists were examining the colors of light given off by solid heated objects. They discovered that these hot solids gave off continuous spectra and that the overall color of the light revealed the temperature of the object. Now this was important because scientists realized that this discovery made it possible to measure the temperature of an object from a distance. They could measure the temperature of the sun, for instance. During these discoveries, they also noticed that some of the objects absorbed light extremely well, almost perfectly in fact. They were called black bodies because they absorbed virtually all the light that was shown upon their surfaces. These same objects also radiated almost perfectly, and as noted before, the temperature of the black body object determined the distribution of colors or wavelengths in the admitted light. This curve shows how much light of each color is admitted by a cool object. As you can see, there isn't much light, and what light there is mostly lies out past the red end of the spectrum, in the infrared. The figure on the right will show the different colors added together as we progress. Right now, only red light is visible. This curve shows how much light of each color is emitted by a medium temperature object. And the most light is emitted in the orange, yellow, green wavelengths. So now we add orange, yellow, and green to our cauldron of light on the right. As you can see, the combination so far looks yellow. This third curve is for a really hot object. Lots of light, and with most of it being emitted toward the blue end of the spectrum. And as you can see, our cauldron now is pure white in the center where all the colors overlap. A heated black body follows this color path as the temperature rises. A good example of black body radiation is the heat inside a kiln. At low temperatures, the primary color inside the kiln is the infrared. And we cannot detect it with our naked eye. But as the temperature rises, the kiln begins to glow red. And as the temperature continues to rise, the dominant color changes to orange, then yellow, then bluish white. The distribution of energy in light shifts to shorter wavelengths as the temperature rises.